So I wasn't told about the whole curtain thing. Um, that, I don't know. I'm always the last to know about everything. Um, anyway, here I am at Stand Up for Civic again because my mother signed me up. Um, it's good to be back. Uh, last time, last time that I was here, I talked about eating alone at lunch. Um, intentionally, it's a choice. I enjoy it very much. Um, but my biggest problem when it came to, to eating alone at lunch was other people, um, well, in general, but also other people <laughs> who tried to come over and talk to me. I guess they felt some kind of social obligation, which I will never understand, to come over and comfort me or like be my friend or like be my buddy or something. I don't want to be your buddy. I'm, I, I don't want to be your pal. There's, there's nothing here, okay? And so I know a lot of theater kids, and me eating a load at lunch is something that makes theater kids supremely uncomfortable. And so they were the worst offenders when it came to invading my me space when I was trying to eat. And while they already did this with great enthusiasm, their vigor was only increased by the fact that, this is crazy, but theater kids think that I'm one of them. And um, I've received accusations of being a theater kid many times by, by all different types of people, theater kids and non-theater kids alike. And frankly, it baffles me. Um, every time that I receive such an accusation, I am I'm shocked, I'm uh, surprised, I'm confused, and I'm, I'm even a little bit hurt. Um, and it, it, it's a constant struggle for me not to be associated with, with drama kids. Now, th there's nothing wrong with them. Let me get started uh, with that. I, I don't have anything, I, I don't dislike theater kids. They're great people, okay? Uh, the problem is, theater kids don't know how to shut up. <laughs> I'm a big fan of shutting up. I didn't know that shutting up was a skill, but turns out I should be teaching a class on shutting up, and attendance should be mandatory for theater kids. So recently, I was once again evading accusations of being a theater kid in a conversation with one of my friends, and I was like, well, it really depends on how you define theater kid. Like, what even is a theater kid? Um, so usually that gets them, but this time they sent me a helpful list, which I have here tonight. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll be going through that list and proving that I, Knox Boyd, am not a theater kid in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'm, I'm just not. It's, it's, it's obvious. So, number one on the list. Obsessed with musicals to an unhealthy degree. Now, this, this is just not true. I mean, this year... This year, I, have, I don't think I've even been to any musicals. I mean, the, okay, well, there, there was that one, and then there were, hold on. Okay, so there were a few. There were a few, but overall, it was less than 12 and a half. Fewer, fewer than 12 and a half, sorry, grammar. Um, so, number two. Inner circle of friends are theater kids, or kids who are in drama club or in the plays. So I don't have an inner circle of friends. So that one's out the window, gone, next. <laughs> People who are in the plays or in tech crew. So the wording's important here. I've never been in tech crew and at McCutcheon, which is where this friend is from, I have never been in any of the plays, only the musicals. It's an important distinction. And so next. <laughs> um, people who enjoy public speaking. My mom signed me up for this. So, <laughs> next, people who sing at any given time. Now this is the last one on the list. And this is a little bit of a tricky one. Once again, wording is important. So I think that the wording on this one implies a degree of spontaneity. This is like people who sing when they're in a choir. You know, that's just anyone. So I don't really sing spontaneously. I don't just break out into song frustratingly to the people around me. Um, well, there was one time, <laughs> but uh, anybody, anybody would have done exactly what I did. So, 
it, my family and I, we were on vacation, and we were, we were leaving France. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> and the, um, the French Border Patrol officer saw one of our American passports. And he, uh, he just started to sing a little bit of the first line of the Star Spangled Banner. And of course, this I think is the clear decision to anybody in our situation, we couldn't leave him hanging. So all of us proceeded to stand up and join him and finish the entire song. Um, there was harmonizing by the end. Um, the whole train station um, broke into a standing ovation and um, it was completely normal. So, as you can see, I am in no way, shape, or form a theater kid and see. <laughs>